Hello and welcome to the Infinite Skills course on using and installing the Linux Mint operating system. I've got a section called Getting Started, which talks about creating bootable media from the Windows and Mac platforms. I talk about hardware requirements and I go into installing and booting the Linux Mint operating system. I go into the desktop and talk about some of the desktop applications installed by default in Linux Mint, what the Linux Mint menu is and how it works what the Mint panel is used for and how to configure it. Working with the desktop context menu is discussed. And I talk about installing software in the Linux Mint operating system with simple samplings for applets, date and times, image editors, and desklet applications. I go on to setting up and using multiple workspaces. I then go on to file management in the Linux Mint operating system. And I talk about the root directories, the root user, I go into the Mint file system and directory tree, and I talk about things like the boot directory, what the dev directory is, what do we use Etsy or ETC for, and what the user and var directories are for. I talk about the root user and what are the privileges associated with a root user. I then go on to a large section on the command shell, where I talk about some of the most common commands and their options. I follow the shell discussion with text editing in Linux Mint using the gedit GUI editor as well as the vim editing tool. I then go into system settings where I talk about themes and backgrounds, effects and fonts and applets, talk a little about display configurations, and then lastly, advanced topics where I talk about system administration with logins and device drivers, users and groups, I go into a small section on disk management where we work with a couple of applications and usage analyze and partition disks, a little on networking and software package updates, working with Linux Mint system logs and logging, getting information about your system and monitoring your system, and of course, how to work with a backup tool. I hope you find this class very enjoyable and informative. Thank you.